reading text files using Python. So quite often when we use Python uh, in our programs we can use variables or we can use lists or we can use dictionaries or other data structures but those data structures are great but they only exist and they only uh, they only work whilst the program is running. As soon as we close the program and then reopen it everything that was stored inside of those variables is gone. So we need to have some form of persistent file storage. So the most basic version is to use a text file to store some data. So let's say we have a text file and let's call it animals.txt. There we go. There we go. I'm using pythonanywhere.com. That's what I use online. Um, but you can use, uh, it works just exactly the same as when you're doing it offline with normal Python. Um, but I've created a text file called animals.txt. And let's put a text file, let's call it dog, cat, mouse, squirrel. There we go. There you go. So we've got an animals.txt file here, and it's got four items in it. So let's save that file. Great, brilliant. So there's a text file, and as you can see, one, two, three, four, four, four items. And that, uh, that text file there looks to me like a list. That is a list, isn't it? It's a, it's a one dimensional list it's got one item so if we want to talk to that and we want to pull that in into python we need to get that file and we need to make it into some kind of list so what do we do well oops just zoom out let's create a new file let's call it uh, reading.py there we go so it's how to read a file and the first thing we do is we do f equals open and we give it the file name which is uh, animals.txt. There we go. And what we're, what we're going to do, well, we're going to read that file. Okay, it's just like opening a book. We're going to read it. So there you go. And what that's going to do is it's going to go to the animals.txt. It's going to open it. And the way we're going to open it is we're going to read from it. Uh, you will look at different ways of doing stuff later on, but that's the main thing. So we open the file. And then what do we do? Well, Let's imagine that we want to take the contents of that file and let's put that those contents into a list. So let's call it animals, animals list equals, there we go. So first of all, we create an empty list uh, ready to put all the bits and bats into all those animals in it. And then we go through each line in that file. So for line in f there we go so for each line in that file what do we do well we do animal let's say because we're going to get each line is one animal equals line dot strip and what why are we doing strip well let me show you why because what we want inside of our list really is we just want for example animals to eventually we want it to look a bit like this sort of dog or whatever it is dog mouse but that's what we want to do we want to get all the bits in and put it inside of there like that there you go dog mouse etc etc we want all those bits we put in there but at the moment for each line in that animals.txt actually what you've got here is you've got the name of the animal and you can't see it but here of course there's a new line character there's an enter the computer's way of saying okay uh, let's let's add a new line. So whilst it only looks like you've got three characters there, you've got four on that first line, four on the second, six on the third, and then nine on the uh, well, the fourth hasn't got nine because of course there's no enter, so there's no new line character there. So we don't want that new line. We don't want that. So we're going to use the strip function, and the strip function's great. It gets rid of new lines. Uh, I think if we put space bars in there as well on either side, it'd probably get rid of that as well. So it's quite useful. It just gets rid of all the rubbish that we don't need so that we've only got the characters that we need. See there, look, see the little, there's loads of characters in there that we don't want. So we're going to use that new uh, strip function. And so we, we go for each uh, line in that file. We uh, strip that line. And then the first, last thing we need to do is... We do animal list dot append. Append means add. Uh, and we'll add the animal to the list. There we go. Boom. Perfect. 
And now if we do print animal list, hopefully animals list, there we go. Hopefully that will print out the entire list. Let's make sure I've done it right. That looks good. Let's run the file. Again, I'm running it in Python anyway, so it's doing it all inside of this little console, but you could do whatever you want. Uh, it works with any version. And there you go. Perfect. What it's done is it's gone to the animals file. It's gone and got each item from the animals file and it's added it to the list. Perfect. Of course, uh, you might not just want to just print the whole animals list there. Uh, you might want to do something a bit more, you know, a bit more fancy. So, of course, you could do sort of for animal in any animals list. Should have given it a shorter name, really. That's quite long. Um, let's print. There is a... Let's have a look, and then for each other, there we go. You could do many more complicated things. That might be all right. So, so each it's going to say it'll say the name of each animal. I've put a comma there, so I don't I don't need to put that space there because that comma will actually do the job for me. Let's have a go with that. There we go. And it's done that. So you can do very many complicated things and you can use that anywhere in your programs. Perfect.